Dum-dum. Writer's Corner. My advice to, to people who want to work in, in, in the industry, who want to write serial content, uh, may it be a daily drama, which uh, where you follow a different path, or as a writer for web series or classic TV series, weeklies, one-offs, whatever, uh, would be have a lot of patience. Um, be clear what your audience is, and I think that's, that's something that a lot of writers forget about sometimes that you are writing for your audience, you're not writing for yourself. Um, you're writing for people who are to be touched and to be emotionalized and, uh, and never forget that and, and sort of envision when you write how the people are going to react and what they're going to feel when they see it and, and not be afraid of showing it to everyone you know, um, getting their reactions because only that way you can, can evolve. Uh, and um, not forgetting that sometimes the creative process is a teamwork and, and not being afraid of that, even if it means having to let go a bit to get a better product. Sean Ryan said something really interesting to me, which was like he harbors a dream at some point that he can actually walk away for 18 months or maybe two years, go off with his family, travel, experience. Because if you're sitting in a writer's room, 10 or 11 months of a year and all your energy and focus and attention is going into writing a show, you're drawing on all, all of your life experiences up, up to that point to add into characters, moments, events that happen in the show. But you're going to run out of life experiences to be able to draw on. So you need to kind of go off and have a life again in order to kind of refresh the story bank, you know? Um, as, as, as he, however, also admits himself, it's a very difficult thing to pull off, to kind of turn around to a network or an agency or people and kind of go, I kind of want to go away for 18 months and not write anything. Is that okay with you guys? Um, most people will say to him, no, no, it's not. Um, and whether he gets the opportunity to do it or not, I, I, I don't know. But, but it, it is an interesting point like that, um, you know, and, and it is one of the reasons why every season – people do like to bring at least one or two new writers into the room is to just try and freshen things up and get a, get a new perspective in and get some new stories or, or thoughts in, especially if you're writing comedies. Um, and that's one of the reasons comedy rooms are so big. You can have 10, 11, 12 people writing in the room because you, you, you're trying to pull on every experience, every memory, every gag, every joke, anything you've ever laughed at in your life, let's throw in the room and see how we might be able to build a story around this and make it apply to our characters.